Hi, is this the Kingdom Hall? <clears throat> Hello? Uh, yes. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just okay. doing some uh, phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yeah, do you have... Phone yeah, I was doing some phone okay. witnessing, sharing a scripture. <clears throat> do you have a okay. minute? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted to share a couple of verses in um, Philippians chapter 1. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat. Um, verse 13, um, Paul's talking about when he was in prison, you know about that. Um, so he says, so that my prison bonds for the sake of Christ have become public knowledge among all the Praetorian guard and all the rest. And it really stands out to me, you know, that he was in prison for the sake of Christ. I mean, would you, would you ask me a question? Yeah, yeah. Would would a person would you would you really say that, you know, you you're suffering for the sake of Christ, um, who who, you know, is really just a created angel. It seems like something you'd say about God, wouldn't you? Suffer for the sake of you know the Lord God. Do, you know when I when. What, what do you say about this? What do you say about this? You said you. <clears throat> You said you're going to read a scripture. Yeah. But you're not reading a scripture. You're questioning it. Yeah, I have. I have a question about it. Yeah. Do Do you guys ever talk who, about who that? Who, who do you represent? I don't. I don't represent anybody. I don't work for a, like a religion or a corporation. Christians like to so share talk about the, the scriptures. So you know. You're doing, you're doing this on your own. Well. I'm I'm part of the body of Christ, believers in Jesus. We like to talk about the Bible. We're not we're not promoting an organization, you know. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, isn't he? Well, what about his father, Jehovah? Yeah, the father, he he is the, the son, the son of God. The son and of the, God the Father. The, then why, why don't, if that's the father, uh, <clears throat> let me ask you, why don't you use the father's name? I, I say the word Jehovah. It's in the Hebrew scriptures. Well, not really the word Jehovah, just the Y-H-W-H. It's signified in some Bibles differently, but we sing songs that have the word Jehovah. What, what do you mean? Like, you think it's, um, like, secret knowledge or something like that, that you guys only have? No, I don't think that. Oh, I oh okay. That yeah, I don't have any I'm issue with it. it. Mm -hmm. but, but, but people don't. Oh, wow. Now, now let me assist you, please. You believe in Trinity. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to be baptized okay, in the name sir. of the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Why would he say that? Well, let me ask this. In Romans 5, 12, it says, one man gave his life uh -huh. a sacrifice for many. <clears throat> he had to equal the balance of Adam, correct? Oh, no. That? No. He That thing about he only died for to replace Adam, so for a great reset during the thousand years. No, that there's many verses that say he bore our sins. It says in it's either first or second Peter he bore our sins in his own body on the tree. Isaiah fifty three also says he he died for sins sinners. You know that was that was made up by Russell. That was made up by Russell, that whole ransom thing. Their definition of ransom is more like a great reset. It's not, It's just not taught in the Bible. Okay, apparently uh, you probably have to go back and read your Bible. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you show later. me where that's right. in the Bible? Great. Um, I just have a quick question about something. Um, it's about something um, I was reading in a watchtower um, in the online library. Um, do you have a minute? Uh, please. Yes, getting ready to start a meeting, but uh, tell me what it's about, and then I can, uh, can I get one of the brothers to come after the meeting? Uh, oh, okay. Go ahead, tell me what it's about. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, um, it says that, um, like, it's uh, it says um, right here in November 1st, 2009, page 19, it says, Unlike the Protestant movement, which has splintered into hundreds of denominations, 
Jehovah's Witnesses have maintained a united global brotherhood. Um, I mean, in point of fact, there's quite a few splinter groups that have defected. I, I don't know why they're saying that. Uh, can I get your number and I have a brother to call you back? No, I just wanted to know what you thought about that. Do you want to hear what some of them are? I mean, one of the earliest ones was Bible, was Bible was students. What? Oh, okay. No problem. Okay. Well, if you want to see the splinter groups, the different groups that defected from the Watchtower, it's in um, Wikipedia, Jehovah's Witnesses Splinter Groups. And it's also on a site called jwfacts.com in a section called Lies that are in the Watchtower. Okay. Okay. God bless you. Bye. Kingdom Hall. Um, do you have a minute? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I was um, I was listening to, um, they have this uh, video online called um, Broadcasting. Do you ever listen to those? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, um, he made the most interesting statement. He, he said that um, some thought the preaching work would end in 1914 with the birth of the kingdom. Um. But the, but the thing is, is that's what they were teaching. So, I mean, it's kind of misleading to say that some thought that. Um, that's what they were teaching in Russell's books. That's true. So why did he say some thought as though he's talking about the members instead of saying some, all witnesses were taught, all Bible students were taught would be a more clear, honest uh, statement, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, if they were. I personally was not around then. Oh, it doesn't matter. What I'm questioning is about their dishonesty in presenting the history. Some thought, you know, the, the organization taught that. And why would they say some thought? They're kind of blaming the members. Like, oh, yeah, some okay. crazy people thought the preaching work would end in 1914. They, hello? Hi, is this the Kingdom Hall? Excellent. Good, how are you? I'm also all right. Oh, I just had a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Yes, yes. Do you have a minute? Yes, yes, I Thank you. Well, I was reading this really good article on jw.org, you know, it was in the Awake magazine. Um, it's so good that they report on these things. They were talking about how Catholic Church has paid out like settlements for child sexual abuse. You know, they pay money to the victims instead of going to court. Yeah, did you ever hear about that? Um, no, I've not heard of it. Yeah, they have a lot of fair amount of articles about Catholic priests and different child sexual abuse scandals and the church pays out money and things like that because they were covering it up. Um but anyways, I was my question is I was searching on the they have a section called news, you know, where they put some legal things that are happening and um they never report anywhere about the uh, their own settlements they've paid out for child sexual abuse. I was wondering why is that? Okay, um, so you've been able to go to the. Yeah, I can't find anything about their court cases and and being investigated by governments for that and uh, payouts of money to victims. By the Watchtower. I'm not sure whether I will be on phone right now, but if it's okay with you, I'll be able to give you a call back just after I'm able to control. Yeah, um, just recently the news came out that they paid off two more cases. It was in Montana, and um, the organization probably knows they cannot win those cases because during the different litigation and investigations before the court dates um their main lawyer 
got fined $154,000 for lying to the court and filing two affidavits that were false and deceptive. So that's probably one reason they won't be able to win those cases. They were also uh, caught destroying documents related to child sexual abuse. That's a, this is a matter of public record. Uh, uh, okay, like I mentioned, I'm not going to be. I'm not able to really respond to any. Yeah, you you know the members are not aware, so you're. The members are not aware because they do not talk about it. They just point the fingers at other other organizations. You know, they they. Do you think it should be a matter of awareness of the members? Um. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so um, if it's something you do, I'm able to get back. Yeah. Do you do you first do do you do you agree that members should be aware of these things or or not? Do you think it's all right that they don't inform you all about these things? I had. Okay. Well, um, I was reading in the online library, a watchtower, and it says that um, God has always used an organization. Um, and even you have to find it, that organization, um, to receive everlasting life. So, I mean, when you think about actual history, though, I mean... There was 2,500 years before Moses from creation. And then after they say there was only apostasy until the time of Charles Russell. I mean, what organization would someone identify during all those years? Like that would be like 1,800 years almost. Right, right. Well, I mean, that would take an up um, study. Um, I mean, if, if you'd like, I'd definitely love to have someone um, give you a call and give you the uh, Bible-based answers on that? Well, um, but but what? who was the organization during 1,800 years until Russell? I mean, don't well, you like know? Said, yeah, like I said, I would love to do the research on it and, and have someone get back to you on that. Well, I, I just wanted to know your thought on it. Have you ever thought about that? Like how no one can really think of anybody because – there wasn't any group that really held similar beliefs like Russell during the, all that time. Um, so they couldn't be or, the organization. Um, well, there's, there's a uh, time frame that the Bible refers to as like an exile where uh, there was at that time, you know, you think of um, different type of um, martyrs that came up and tried to um, start something and then were snuffed out by different uh, religious leaders or organizations. So the, the, a specific group sometimes uh, may be uh, specific individuals that they uh, disclose. Oh, individuals um, are not the same as an organization that someone right, could right, identify right. and join to get eternal life, <laughs> are they? Right. And I noticed, too, some of the individuals they mentioned, like, they just call them Bible lovers or something like that, mm -hmm. not Christians. Right, yeah, mind. because they were yeah. they were more similar to evangelical Christians of today, like Wycliffe and Tyndale. So I'm not sure why they... Because at the same time, they say, like, we're um, controlled by Satan because we're like Babylon, Babylonish or something. So I don't know why they would even um, point to them for any reason. Um, you know, because if you read their writings, it, it's it's really interesting how it's so much more like just traditional Christians. <laughs> you could read yeah, the I Tyndale. Know. You could get a whole book of his writings, and they are really oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, no, you allowed, I, uh, are you allowed to read Christendom books like Tyndale? You can read whatever you'd like. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh many would it's testify easy. otherwise. Yeah. Can well, you, you talk about it? Conscience. You got to use your own conscience uh, as far as what mm -hmm. guides you. You know, we have free will. Jehovah, uh, God gave us free will. Yeah. You know, I see. I mean, yeah. Could I mean, you read the book Crisis of Conscience by Raymond Franz? No, 
I didn't. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you want me? Do you want a free one? Um, I'm, I'm, thank you, but um, no thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, I see. But you can read yeah. everything, but you choose not to. I'm not a big, avid uh, material reader. I enjoy my Bible study. But oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. It's the most fascinating book because he was on the governing body and he oh, nice. he left, you know. So the, the book is all about his uh, findings and, and how sure. being on the governing body actually made him believe it was not God's organization, you know, because he, he it struck him as more of a business than a, um, a religion, you know, a Christian religion. So it's, it's very interesting. It's on Kindle. It's on Kindle for pretty cheap. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for talking. God bless right. you. Right. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Have a good day. Bye.